Hey guys, how are you going? Uh, just a quick video today. Um, this one's targeting all the people that are trying to be artists on social media um, and they're kind of finding it a bit hard uh, to do that in 2024. So I'm just going to quickly go over step by step on how I became uh, like kind of semi big on TikTok um, over 7 to 10 days back in 2021. Um, what you can do step by step uh, and probably the do's and don'ts of what you should and shouldn't do what will help you and let's just dive right in and I'll, um, I'll see how I go. All right, so here is my uh, TikTok page uh, today. So I am at 238.8K followers of 2.1 million likes and my best video on here is sitting at 9.7 million um, views. And this video is actually sitting at 1.4 million likes, you know, 65k comments. And I'm going to tell you exactly how this happened and uh, how you can do it. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. It happened back in 2021 um, and it uh, happened really quickly and then kind of died off really quickly. So you could say it was a matter of luck. Um, but uh, after going over it, I definitely see that there was a pattern that I stuck to back in 2021, which got me uh, like 250K followers roughly in 10 days. Um, the reason why I don't have the, the same following today is because I just gave up. I, um, you know, my actual job in the, in the, in the industry kind of just stopped uh, all my external work, so like all my freelancing work. Um, and on top of that, I, I currently live in Australia. So this account was created in Australia. So I don't actually get to, uh, reap the benefits of uh, making money from TikTok because in Australia we can't actually make money from TikTok, which is unfortunate. So I'm going to go back to the start really quickly here and I'm going to show you this video here. So, yep, yeah, that's me uh, with my bald head. This was back in 2021, uh, as you can see the date on the right. So what I did here is I saw another artist doing something on TikTok and I followed that artist. I pretty much copied the artist one for one. Uh, except for the fact that the artwork itself that I created is different. It's unique to me and how I would approach it. The concept being the same as what he did. Uh, so then I used it uh, uh, towards my video. I used the sound. I used the similar characters, I'd say, if not the same characters. And I just did my own version of it. Of it. You can see that this video pretty quickly blew up. And a lot of people on this... Um, um, a lot of people were commenting and viewing it like instantly and then before you knew it I made the next video which blew up once again so after I made one video and then the next video blew up I was just like okay let me see what I can do with this therefore I went and had and just made a video a day and it just it got bonkers I got to a point where I had to turn off notifications I had to turn off all my anything to do with TikTok because the amount of notifications and like just everything on my phone was blowing up so i couldn't handle it uh, so i turned off notifications and i only checked my notifications when i went back onto the app um, and it just got crazy and crazy every day so within 10 days i'd say i think it was anywhere between seven to ten days of posting one to two videos similar to the first video i posted i climbed from zero followers to 250k followers um, and you can see that my climax was pretty much when I did the Godzilla and that hit 9.7 million and that just today, still today, if you check my notifications, like I just, I get a lot of notifications still today of, because of this one video that I did back in 2021. So yeah, uh, find an artist out there, see what they're doing and just use them kind of like use them as a plugin. Don't forget to just like um, let them know. Like you can see how in my first video, I actually commented the original artist that did this um, this style, this concept. And, and I, I, comment, I, I, I put him in my description pretty much. So I didn't just take what his concept was and just run with it. I took his concept and I um, I used it and I gave him like the, uh, you know, the, the benefits of like, oh, if you want to know where my influence or my reference was, check out this guy's page. He did this, he did this, and this is what I just did. So, you know, and then I'll leave it up to the audience to decide whether they like mine or his or both, you know. Um, yeah, I'm going to get into some a bit more technical stuff. 
So let's go to my like um, analytics of my page. So this is the last seven days. I no, I haven't posted anything remotely artistic on this page for two years. Anything that's on my page now is just because I just because I just felt like posting it. Um, but yeah, look, you can tell like in the last seven days alone, five point three k views. A uh, hundred people viewed my page. 72 likes, 31 comments, two shares, and then I have, you know, 3.2K unique followers. If I go to the last 28 days, it just gets crazy. And then the last two months, roughly, you know what I mean? Like 40K people are still watching my views. I'm still getting, you know, a crazy amount of likes. Um, it's just unfortunate that I can't get anything from this. So uh, if I can't, then maybe you can. Um, and then like, I'll probably just go into my content have a look at my training videos that like you can see that obviously the Godzilla is the is the best video I've got and then you know King Kong and then play Pikachu obviously I targeted like characters and stuff that people um people liked and people knew uh, so that obviously does help hashtags help what helped a lot too was the sound I applied to it you find a sound that someone else is using and you they're doing the same thing for example the artist that the original artist that was doing this concept I used the exact same sound so then when people hit the sound and you look at the top videos of the sound, my videos are at the top as well as his. So they were always going to be viewed. Um, and yeah, like just go with it as you please. Like take this information and hopefully do do what I like. I, I couldn't. Well, not that I couldn't. Just do um, what I did pretty much and actually make money from it. So um yeah, and, and it also does come down to luck and timing and stuff like that. But I feel like if you follow the um, those steps um, that I did, then you know you're definitely going to be successful on TikTok as as an artist. Uh, if that's what you want to do, if not, then you know what I mean. Like there's always there's always other ways you can promote your way on your art on here. But uh, yeah, you can see that like my videos averaged anywhere between fifty to one hundred k uh, views. Um, with the obviously the the outstanding one million and nine million view one that um, blew up like crazy, uh, that I actually can't uh, make money off of because I live in Australia. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments um, any more questions or if you'd like any more videos on how to kind of get you know more followers and more content and more ideas and keep it original, pretty much. So yeah, cheers. So just really quickly, what will help me is um, just liking the video, sharing it, subscribing to me if you want. If not, just, you know, kind of just responding. Give me some kind of response so I can work into my next videos. Whether you subscribe now or not, but uh, hopefully, you know, in a week's time or a month's time, I'll have enough videos and enough content that you will start to enjoy what I do. And um, yeah, and then, you know, hopefully you come around and start to, you know, watch my videos and I earn that subscribe button from you. So. Yeah, just stick around and we'll, uh, we'll have lots more to talk about. Cheers.